I am Bill the Geek, broadcasting not live from Ahihik, Mexico. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. On the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. We travel Mexico. We share all kinds of information about moving to and living in Mexico. So here we go. I just found a great apartment in Mazatlan. I'll move there in 30 days. And I'm going to share you how I found my dream apartment in just seven days. You want to watch the entire video because at the very end of the video, I will tell you the secret super way to find an apartment or a house in Mexico. The best way. Let's get started. I'm going to take you step by step the steps that I use to find my dream apartment in Mazatlan. First of all, let's talk about what kind of apartment was I looking for. I was looking for a furnished apartment within four blocks of the beach in Mazatlan. Now we have to talk about what is furnished in Mexico versus what is furnished in the United States. A furnished apartment in Mexico means everything. That means sure you get a couch and a bed, a refrigerator and a stove, but beyond that you get towel, sheets, knives, forks, coffee, blenders, uh, uh, internet. We're talking fully furnished. Everything. Coffee cups. That's what fully furnished means in Mexico. Now let's talk about quality of life in your new apartment. When I first moved here 17 years ago, I had visions of Mexico that people didn't live that good. So whatever I got, that's what I was going to get. I got on, on the internet, started looking for places. I found a place 17 years ago. It was $700 a month. That's like 14,000 pesos. It was a small place. Yes, it was furnished, but it was painted very poorly and it was ugly, but it did have a swimming pool and it was only three blocks from the beach. $700 a month. After that, over a period of about oh, three years, I lived in two more places. They had cement floors, ugly furniture. They were fully furnished, but I didn't know. And I was very happy in my environment. I had internet. I was three or four blocks from the beach. I, I, I was okay, but I didn't know that in Mexico, people live, many people live way better than people live in the United States with all the modern amenities. So I met a woman, her name was Piper Sellers, and her and her husband had bought a house in Puerto Vallarta for $180,000. This is five years, no, this is like 10 years ago. Uh, and it was fully furnished, leather couches, big screen televisions. When they bought the house, they got all the stuff, knives, forks, spoons, sheets. It was fully furnished as a brand new house. It looked like modern America. I didn't know that people lived like this in Mexico. And a visit to her house several times changed my life about how I could live in Mexico. You can live really great in Mexico and for very inexpensively. So let's get into the details on how I found my perfect new apartment. My new apartment is fully furnished. All the furniture is brand new. It's, it looks like a brand new place. It's with a swimming pool. It's three blocks from the ocean. It has two bedrooms, two baths. It's beautiful. It has a swimming pool, comes with parking because I have a car, I need that. And I'm gonna pay $675 a month. Let's talk about how I found it and the do's and don'ts of looking for an apartment on the internet. So first let's talk about the wrong way of looking for an apartment in Mexico. The wrong way is you go to Google, you do a search for apartments, let's say in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, the first three pages are going to be all the expensive places. People are paying uh, 
they're buying ads to put up so they come up on page one and two and these are going to be the most expensive places it can be craigslist all these uh, apartment services and they're going to be the most expensive places that's not what you want to do and before you start looking think of what you really want what do you really want well probably you want fully furnished then decide how many bedrooms do you want do you want a swimming pool do you have a car will you have a car do you need a parking space do you want a yard do you want a view of the lake or the ocean or the mountains write it all down figure out exactly what you want okay now here's the part that changed my life a person told me how they did this about a year ago and they found their perfect dream apartment in the center of Ajijic, mexico for 650 dollars a month it was three bedrooms three baths fully furnished a view of the lake and walking distance from everywhere here's how they taught me how to find my dream apartment so here's what you want to do don't go to google go to facebook go to facebook and look for groups then click on groups and do a search for the city that you want to live in and you what what, what you want to do like if you want to live in ahihik uh, go to Facebook and search for Americans living in Ahihik or gringos living in Ahihik. Search, search, search and find three or four groups that meet your need and then join the groups. You will find groups in many cities, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, Malaque, of Americans that are renting homes in those cities or are selling homes it's it's a quite a common thing if you go to groups in several cities you'll find all of that in these groups you will find people that are posting ads about places for sale and places for rent you you can look at these places but you don't want to respond to these ads so here's what you want to do take your list that that you wrote down exactly what you want and you want to post a comment in these groups and you want to say hey i'm thinking of moving to puerto vallarta and i want to live five blocks or less from the ocean and i want to be able to walk to grocery stores and restaurants and bars and i want a carport and i want two bedrooms and i i want the area to be quiet and, I, I, and, and this is a, write down exactly what you're looking for and then post your request. Now, what I didn't say is, yeah, you want two bedrooms, one bathroom, close to the beach, in the center of town. Uh, you want all that, but I didn't mention the price. Name your price. I really didn't want to spend more than $650 a month. So that's what I put in the ad. I put... I'm, I, I only have $650 a month that I want to pay for rent. Then everybody knows exactly what you're looking for and there's no price situations. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Uh, ask us what videos you want to see. So tell us what you think. Leave a comment. And if you like the video, please click the like button. We have many more videos to come, so you may want to click the subscribe button. That's it. Post that and then post in as many groups as you can. And what will happen is people will reach out to you. Uh, when I posted mine in Mazatlan, I did just that. I'm looking for a two bedroom, two baths uh, with a swimming pool, five blocks or less from the ocean. And people will just start responding to you. People in these groups that know real estate agents or people that own homes. Now what happened to me was somebody in this group in Mazatlan, they knew someone who would find apartments for people and her name was Allie. She spoke fluent English. So I contacted Allie. 
Allie uh, called me, we talked several times, and within five days I had an apartment. We go live every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time, that's Houston time, Chicago time, and we get about 50 to 100 people every week, and we talk about the joys of living in Mexico, so join us and you want to click the subscribe button so you get a notification so you can show up and ask your questions and give us your input now ali the real estate agent uh she found a place it was fifteen thousand pesos that's like 750 dollars a month it was above the 675 that i wanted to spend so ali said well uh, if you sign a contract for one year, they'll drop the price to six seventy-five. dollars uh, So I, I signed a one-year lease, and they dropped the price from 15,000 pesos to 13,500 pesos, which is $675 a month, and that includes internet and swimming pool and parking space and a king-size bed fully furnished. So if you're looking for an apartment in Mexico, that's what you do. This is how you get what you want for the best price that you're looking for. Okay, let's talk about the super way to get an apartment in Mexico. It takes a little more time. You might have to travel to do this, but uh, uh, I knew some people, they lived in Guadalajara, they lived there all their lives, and they needed an apartment for a relative. So what they did is they picked the neighborhood that they wanted to rent in and they just drove around and took pictures of the for rent signs. That's what they did. They slowly drove their cars block by block taking pictures of these signs. The reason this method works so well is there's a lot of old money in Mexico and when people buy a house they have to pay cash so if 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 the people own like a two hundred thousand three hundred thousand four hundred thousand home or set of apartments they paid cash for that they have money and if they have that much money they may be very old some people renting apartments are in their 80s they don't use the internet they don't have computers so when they want to rent their property, they put a sign out front the way people did 50 years ago. That's what they're used to. So by going to a neighborhood, walking around for hours, taking pictures of the for, for rent signs, calling the people up, going to visit, that's you're going to find bargains that you cannot find on the internet give it a try thank you very much for watching we hope you enjoyed the video this is how you really find an apartment in mexico use this methodology and it will work uh, i'm going to pay for my deposit for my new place in mazatlan today i used this method and i found an apartment in five days so anyway i'm bill the geek this is the bill dallas lewis channel thank you for watching hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video